Has anybody really thought who the big loser in this is? You know, there is a billion dollar industry in anti-worker and the union busting. I hope there's no attorneys here because, man, y'all are terrible. I mean, that's the biggest loser here other than the workers. If you think about it, if companies put the money back into the workers or back into resources for their business instead of putting the money in the pockets of a lobbyist or an anti-union busting firm, they could help themselves and help the workers and make a better working situation or productive workforce. But they choose to want to dominate and intimidate their workers. And it's just totally wrong.